I wouldn't worry about the blurred image. That's why I shot it, because this is just about uh, experiencing a bit of color, the color of the lights at night, Thursday evening. And if all goes well, which it should, that is to say, <laughs> I stay on the bicycle. Uh, that's going to happen, of course. Then you can just enjoy this uh, blitz of evening color. I'm just passing a place, uh, I think, Kebab Bar. And um, on the right, there's a lot of bars, bicycle, car lights, bicycle lights. See a cycle that's overtaken us. I wonder what this looks like, because the way I film it, I can't see. I mean, I see it in black and white and other bits and pieces. So, um, yeah, this is the the groovy one, man. <laughs> no, it's just, um, I think it's going to be fun. And I look forward to editing and seeing all the colors, you know, as they as you're sort of, uh, you, you, you know, you know when you when things are not in focus, how you try really hard to see what uh, is there. So I wonder if this is going to have um, a similar effect, or whether it's just going to be bloody annoying. Like, man, what's wrong with you? This thing is not in focus. Well, um, as uh, those of you who know me by now know, I'm a suffering artiste. I have the right to do whatever I like. <laughs> Which sounds uh, pretty funny. Anyway, yeah. So, let's enjoy some of the lights. Enjoy some of the sounds. And don't get too dizzy. I think this should be very relaxing. Okay, I'm convinced this is... Whoops. I think this should be very relaxing. Because you don't really have to see what's there. You just feel it. And... Uh, that's me in guru mode. But I think really, sometimes you can just feel things. You don't need to understand why anything is the way it is. You can just um, listen to it, look at it, and appreciate it for what it is. So, right now you have no choice due to my technical choices, that is to blur the camera. Um, you, you're just gonna have to feel what's going on, you know? I mean, what does this tunnel feel like? It's, uh, it's not really much of a tunnel, but it's a very nice one. Uh, <laughs> the details you cannot see, but you can feel them sort of echoing off the walls. So, as I cross the road and hopefully not to mow down this pedestrian, who's carrying a, <laughs> I don't know if you heard to say sorry, she was carrying a pizza. Uh, to get by. Um, so now this is uh, quieter. I mean, not with noise, there's a baby planking. I'm sure those of you who observe life will know children love to plank when they're in their buggies. They say, no, I will not sit. I'll stay straight. And then <laughs> you see these frustrated, <laughs> frustrated parents. You know, my own kids did the same. And uh, you realize the only thing you can do is wait or move with them in plank position. <laughs> anyway, there's that. Uh, so, yeah, what I was trying to say, this is a quieter strip. We're heading towards Oster Park, and when we get to Oster Park, that's when the episode is going to come to an end. So I hope you're now really blurred out. Actually, maybe that could be uh, some kind of... Um, I don't know. Let's think about it some kind of meditation, blurry meditation, and just feel, feel the colors, feel the sounds and stuff, feel the fact that this bicycle is vibrating quite a bit, um, all of that kind of stuff. So anyway, we're practically at the end of the strip, so if I can cross the road in one piece, then all will be well. <laughs> Sorry.
That was a near and desperate maneuver, but carried out successfully. Uh, he may have caught a bit of the switching back and forth. Oops. Yep, okay, now we are here, we are in the park. And we're gonna go to the famed rotunda that appeared in an earlier episode. And that's where we're gonna call it an official day. <laughs> 